Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see behind me, I have a bunch of maxi dresses. These are my babies. Maxi dresses are probably one of my top favorite clothing pieces. I do think I have a great selection and I realize I haven't even done a dedicated video to my dresses. That is unacceptable. I have a video on my mini dresses where I tried on and rated all of them, but but for my maxi dresses, I want to do something different. Instead of just trying everything on and rating them, I want to do kind of like a little guide on my favorites and how to style them. I picked out the best of the best and kind of go through what I think are staples in your closet and different ways to style them because summer is here and I do think that maxi dresses are summer staples. So yeah, let's not rambling on for too long and get straight into the video. Okay, so first, as you can see here, we have a lot of black because you can never go wrong with a black dress. A black dress is just a must have in any closet. If you only need to have one dress in your closet, it should be a black dress. I think you can just never go wrong with black and whenever you're buying dresses where there are interesting fun colors, trendy colors, and don't get me wrong, I love a bold color, I love a fun pattern, I love statement dresses. But if you're someone who, like me, where you're like going back and forth between choosing a crazy color or a black color for a dress that you were planning to buy, I think just go with the black. You never regret it. You can go with the fun color and it's fun for that time, but then you look back and you're like, maybe I should have gone with the black. I don't know, that's just me. I feel like whenever I choose black, it's always the right decision. So that's why we have a lot of black dresses here. So first, I have one of my favorite dress. You probably see me wearing this dress a lot already on my channel. I style this in my capsule wardrobe video. I've had this dress for so long. This is just the basic minimal strappy long dress that I think is a must in anyone's closet. I have never seen anyone who doesn't look good in these type of dresses. You cannot convince me that there's anyone who doesn't look good in this. I think this looks great on every body type. It's just so effortless and you just look so amazing. I also love this one because it's so comfortable. The material is kind of casual. You can style it down with sneakers. You can also dress it up with a pair of heels. I just think that this is such a versatile dress. Aside from black dresses, another thing that I love is a knit dress. A ripped, stretchy knit dress. It's like my favorite thing ever. They're comfortable, they fit great, and I have this dress from Lovers and Friends. It looks ridiculous. I've seen those TikToks of people making fun of these dresses, but when it looks like this, I know that it will fit me. I know that it will be snatching. I have so many problems with these dresses where it looks like it's gonna fit and then it's just like loose around my waist and I don't like that. I like to be sucked in. I love the button up details and I love a long sleeve. And this dress is also so great for a casual look and can also be dressed up. I think personally I prefer long dresses for casual look than for a dressy look. I just love the contrast. If you wear like a super dressy long dress with sneakers, it just has this contrast that I love. Like this look that Kendall Jenner wore recently. I love this look so much. It's just so simple but I think that is literally one of my favorite look that she's ever worn. Also I feel like I say this in like every video but if my voice sounds weird I am sick again. I don't know how but I am sick again. I also think that the button up details in this dress makes it very versatile to style. You can unbutton it, put a pair of shorts or a skirt underneath and this becomes like a really cool top or jacket and you can rewear it a lot and it looks like a complete different dress. Next we have this beautiful beautiful dress. We've been going through casual dresses, what we can wear on the daily I would say. Now we have something that is for special occasion, something that is just 
eye catching, show stealing that will make you feel hot, powerful, elegant. At least for me, this is from I Am Gia, and it's so beautiful. Like the flowy fabric, the backless. I think this is just a beautiful dress to have. This is such a statement dress that you only need to pair it with a simple pair of heels, strappy heels, or maybe a pointy toe heel, and. You're good. Now for the last dress, of course, we need to have a sheer black dress, which also moved into a category of maxi dresses that I think is also very important. So basically, every category that I'm gonna talk about in this video, I think if you can, you should have one dress of at least every of these categories. Love a sheer dress. I know that in like the last year or maybe two, three years, it's been kind of. Overdone, but depending on context, I think like when I see celebrities on the red carpet with a sheer dress that is just like a boring sheer dress, and there's nothing special. I get so bored of it. I'm not saying that I don't like seeing sheer dresses at all on the red carpet, but if the dress is beautifully made, if there's something unique, special about it, I'll try to like think of some examples of the ones that I like. Then I think it's where. The sheerness is something that is necessary to the design of the dress. Then I think that is great. But if it's just a sheer dress, just for the sake of shock factor, like then I think it's boring. <laughs> like we see it all the time. We've been seeing a lot of sheer dresses. Like I've worn a lot of sheer dresses lately, and I think it gets kind of too much sometimes. But I still think that it is still a great piece. It is still bold and beautiful, and especially when you don't wear a bra underneath. For me personally, if you're wearing a sheer dress, unless it is necessary to the look, I think it should be worn without a bra. I just think it's a great look, and I love a simple black underwear underneath as well. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite sheer dresses. This one is from my friend's brand, Fussy. Like this fabric is so beautiful with the stripe, and it's just a little bit less obvious. And I also love that it's sheer, but it's also very like covered up. Like it's covered up from head to toe with the long sleeve and higher neckline. I think it's a great contrast as to you know. Just like a strappy sheer dress. Another two sheer but not like boring sheer dresses that I have are these dresses. This one, I love the polka dot print. I think these dresses are perfect for the European summer. Like if you're gonna be walking around Europe, you need these dresses. They look very dressy, but again, I also love that contrast. If you just try to style it down with sneakers. This one is just kind of sheer, but not really. Also, I love this beautiful floral pattern. Kind of looks like fireworks. Okay, now that we have the black dresses out of the way, of course we have to talk about the white dresses. I have some of my favorite here. Honestly, I don't know if I could, if I would choose. The white dress or the black dress. I feel like just in terms of dresses, I prefer a black dress. But if it's like a long strappy dress, I really like white as well. I don't know if I can choose. I would say black for daily and white for vacation. Again, I think we need a strappy dress. This one is also just very simple. I am so sorry that I'm not able to describe fabric better, but I hope that you can see from the try on like what kind of fabric they are. I think this one is too. Too casual to really be dressed up because of the fabric. I have some alternative options for when you want something more luxurious. Okay, this is from Local European. I don't think it's available anymore, which is a shame because I do think that everybody needs this dress. I love the fabric so much. It's just this. Ripped material, but it just flows so effortlessly on your body. I love the length. I love that there's this little split in the back. There are a lot of long dresses that don't have the little split in the back, and they're not stretchy or flowy enough, and it makes it so hard to walk in them. Like I don't know why. It makes me not want to wear them at all. So I do appreciate that it has a little split. I also love the low back, and I love the neckline a lot. I just 
just think that it looks so elegant this one is also another favorite love the knit fabric also would love to wear this in Europe at some point I know that it's so similar to the other white dress but it's also very very different and can serve different purposes also this knit dress transition effortlessly into our next category the knit dress another must-have I think I love 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 a knit dress basically my favorite material for maxi dresses I would say but personally for me it is because they are easier to fit right on your body some other materials you really need to kind of get them tailored or made for your body specifically to really like fit well but knit is just so easy it's stretchy it hugs your body in the right way it's effortless I don't really have anything specific that I want to talk about so I'm gonna try some of them on style some of them and show you one of my favorite one is also this one from Fashion Nova when it looks like this you know the fit is gonna be bomb. I also love this color. I love the neckline of this dress. I love the long sleeve. I also have these ones that I like a lot. Some of these are a midi fit, but again, I think these are all great with sneakers. Last but not least, moving on to a very important category, the slip dress. The silk slash satin dress the slip dress is just iconic it's iconic and i do think that is another staple in your closet so you only need four long dresses the black dress the sheer dress the knit dress and the slip dress and you're good this is your collection we got to start out with the classic and then we're going to move on into something more fun the classic slip dress a beautiful beautiful beige slash gold-ish color this is just the dress that has stand the test of time when was this invented i don't know but this is timeless one of my treasure dress is so beautiful i did fucked it up a little bit because i wore it in the ocean and i scratch it quite a bit to get a photo but the photos were worth it you can wear it anywhere. Wear this to sleep. Wear this to the family dinner. Wear this to go to the grocery store. I love when there's a little tie at the back so you can kind of like cinch it in a little bit because these material are a little bit harder to work with to like kind of fit right at the waist area. I also love when it's a little bit more flowy. This one I love. This is from a Vietnamese brand. They gave me this dress and I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. Look at this detail. Such a fun twist to the slip dress but it's also a classic color i also have this one from stolen store this is also a more fun design it's not as classic but it's fun i think it's beautiful it's a little bit shorter it's not like scraping the floor so i feel like you can really wear it casually if you want to whereas some of them you can save for a more special occasion this one is also beautiful i haven't got a chance to wear it yet it's from a lingerie brand so it has like a more lingerie style with laces lace and silk is just the perfect combination and I also love the look of wearing something with that resembles lingerie just out casually I love all the laces detail here because without the lace it's just like a really simple dress and of course we need a red dress how can we not have a red dress in this dress again the perfect European summer dress it's also made from a beautiful silk material and they are these little subdued patterns that are some kind of flowers i don't know what they are i thought they were roses at first but i don't think they are just the design is so beautiful like this is such a romantic dress the red color the design the fabric everything about it is so romantic i want it to be a separate category the red dress all right, so that's all of my favorite maxi dresses. I hope this video is helpful to you in some way. Um, let me know what is your favorite dress in this video. If you have like a holy grail dress that you want to share with everyone, leave it in the comments. Let me know. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.